What's going on, legendary fans? Thanks for tuning in to another awesome episode of The Legend Outdoors, where we go out and create our own legendary adventures for everyone to watch and enjoy. Now, this little pond that we're getting ready to fish right now, you've seen me out here a bunch of different times. We usually get some big ones, we get some small ones, but most of all, we have lots of fun while we're out here doing it. Now, one thing I want to get in touch with on you guys is, is this backpack. I keep talking about this backpack. I absolutely love it. I've had it for a long time, and I, it's went through a lot of different stages. It's been a day pack, a hiking backpack for me. It's been a hunting backpack. It's been all sorts of different things. Its life has just seen ups, downs, and all arounds. Right now, I have it set for a fishing backpack. I absolutely love this backpack for this application, and it seems to be working really good for me because most of the... Uh, fishing packs that I see the bottoms are getting tore out the sides are getting ripped off and it's just an all-around unpleasant time with some of those bags now I'm not saying all of them are like that but the majority of the ones that I've seen are particularly you know a year a couple years or so maybe three years at the most and then they're torn to pieces and you got to go buy a new one I'm tired of doing that I finally got something that I really enjoy this Maxpedition bag is that now one thing is, is if you're a content creator, if you're a YouTube guy like me who likes making these videos and stuff, your gear, your camera gear, the, the types of things, your, your GoPros and things like that that you're using, you usually got to carry another bag to put all that stuff inside of. Let me give you a little pro tip. This bag is Molly accessible. That means that you can strap stuff on the outside of this bag. Let me show you something real quick with this bag that I've done. So as you can see right here on the side of the bag, what I've done is, is I've used two uh, speed clips. And what those are is they're clips that go down into the molly area onto this other Maxpedition bag that I have. This is a small, uh, or one of the larger ones, uh, bags that you can get. I keep all my camera gear in there, batteries, charging cables, a wireless charger, mic, mic, mic covers and slips and, and all sorts of different things. That is absolutely phenomenal to be able to have that attached to my bag. Now that we got the bag situation out of the way, let's get out here and go get some fishing done. What do you guys think, huh? I got the, uh, got the white shirt on today, which was a horrible idea because it's been raining out and now it's filthy dirty, so I look like a slob, but Let's go. Let's go catch some uh, some pond pandas, some uh, some grass pandas. Let's go get some of these guys. I've also got my uh, got my fish monkey gloves on. Got the hook neck gator because you know you got to look good while you're out here fishing, don't you? Not how you do it. You got to look halfway decent. All right. So uh, real quick, just to go over some of the poles that we're going to be using today. I've got a. Uh, sort of like a finesse rig set up I just a wacky worm on a uh, open face or uh, yeah an open face reel and then I have my two loose bait casters set up one with a spinner bait and one with a creature uh, plastic bait on a Texas rig so let's get out there and see if we can catch some fish <laughs> 